Elon's Mars obsession just took a huge leap. SpaceX is developing a nuclear rocket that could slash the trip to Mars from months to mere days. What used to be a nine-month journey could now be cut to around 90 days, thanks to nuclear propulsion. Elon's vision of humans becoming a multi-planetary species is suddenly within reach. By harnessing nuclear energy, SpaceX could achieve speeds we've only dreamed of, making regular Mars missions a reality. But how does this new rocket work? And what happens when Elon's rockets actually land on Mars? Could this mark the start of humanity's future on the Red Planet? With Elon leading the charge? Elon Musk's Mars dream getting closer. Mars has long been humanity's dream, but getting there has always seemed just out of reach. The challenges, especially the distance, make it feel almost impossible. Enter Elon Musk and SpaceX, ready to push the boundaries of what we think is possible. Musk has been vocal about making humans a multi-planetary species, starting with Mars. But getting there isn't easy, until now. SpaceX is developing a nuclear rocket that could drastically cut the trip time. Currently, even the best rockets take around nine months to reach Mars. With time spent on the surface and the return trip, you're looking at a 21-month mission, a nearly two-year space journey. Space isn't exactly safe either. Long exposure to radiation, muscle atrophy from zero gravity, and the mental strain of isolation make this mission daunting and dangerous. But what if the trip didn't take nine months? What if we could cut the journey to a fraction of the time? That's where SpaceX's new nuclear rocket comes in. Musk, known for turning sci-fi into reality, believes this nuclear rocket is the key to making interplanetary travel feasible. Until now, chemical rockets have been our go-to for space travel. Reliable, powerful, and the backbone of missions since Apollo. SpaceX has pushed chemical rockets to their limits with their Raptor engines, which burn liquid methane and oxygen for huge thrust and are reusable, reducing costs. Even the best engines today can't get us to Mars quickly enough. That's where nuclear rockets come in. Nuclear propulsion generates heat from a reactor, which heats a liquid propellant like hydrogen. The superheated gas shoots out of the rocket, creating much more thrust than chemical engines. This could be the breakthrough we need to reach Mars. Scientists believe nuclear rockets could cut the trip to Mars to just 90 days. A huge reduction that changes everything about a Mars mission. I know the word nuclear can be unsettling. We've seen nuclear disasters like Chernobyl or Fukushima, but space is different. The radiation risks we face on Earth don't apply the same way in space, and SpaceX is taking every safety precaution. For one, the nuclear engine wouldn't activate until the rocket is far from Earth's atmosphere. Conventional rockets would handle liftoff, and once in space, the nuclear reactor would take over to power the ship the rest of the way to Mars. This layered approach reduces risks and boosts efficiency by saving nuclear power for when it's most needed. Plus, space already exposes astronauts to higher radiation than we experience on Earth, so a well-shielded reactor won't add much extra risk. Even with nuclear propulsion, challenges remain. Space isn't a straight shot. There are gravitational forces, and ships need to carry enough fuel and supplies. But cutting the travel time from 9 months to 90 days makes a huge difference. Less time in space means less radiation for astronauts and makes it easier to send more supplies more often to support a Mars colony. Elon Musk's vision of a self-sustaining city on Mars may still seem like science fiction, but nuclear rockets could be the first real step toward making it a reality. With faster travel, missions to Mars could become more frequent, allowing for a steady flow of cargo, equipment, and even people. But this tech isn't just for Mars. If a rocket can get to Mars in 90 days, we're also closer to reaching the outer planets like Jupiter and Saturn. These places could become reachable within a human lifetime, unlocking discoveries we can't even imagine. Musk talks often about humans becoming a multi-planetary species, not just out of curiosity, but for survival. Earth faces existential threats like climate change or asteroid impacts. By building colonies on other planets, we create a safety net for humanity, and nuclear rockets are key to making that happen. What's exciting about all of this is that it's not just theory. SpaceX is actively developing these technologies. 
Musk's drive for innovation means these ideas aren't just lofty concepts. They're real and happening now. SpaceX has already revolutionized space travel with reusable rockets, and nuclear propulsion is the next frontier. While it's easy to get lost in the technical details, the big picture is that Musk is reshaping our entire view of space travel. For a while, space exploration felt stagnant. We'd been to the moon and sent probes to other planets, but human exploration beyond Earth seemed to stall. Now, with companies like SpaceX pushing boundaries, that sense of excitement is back. Nuclear propulsion is a big piece of the puzzle. Mars isn't some distant, unreachable goal. Elon Musk sees it as crucial for humanity's survival. He's not building rockets just for fun. He believes we need to become a multi-planetary species, and he's right. Earth is fragile. Between climate change, overpopulation, and the threat of asteroids or other disasters, having a backup plan is smart. Mars, being the most Earth-like planet, seems ideal. But getting there is no easy task. Aside from the technology, the logistics are daunting. A nine-month journey in space is tough. No atmosphere, no gravity, and constant radiation. It's not just a simple trip. That's why reducing travel time with nuclear propulsion is so important. Imagine being in space for nine months, isolated from everything. Now imagine cutting that to three months. It's still a long trip, but much more manageable. Plus, less time in space reduces risks like radiation exposure. Shorter trips also mean more frequent missions to Mars. The longer it takes to get there, the harder it is to send backup supplies or extra crew. With current technology, missions have to be timed perfectly with Earth-Mars orbits. A nuclear rocket gives more flexibility, allowing faster, more frequent trips. Now about the rocket itself. Using nuclear power in space isn't new. NASA explored nuclear propulsion in the 1960s, but the technology wasn't ready. Safety was the main concern. No one wanted a nuclear explosion in Earth's atmosphere. But times have changed, and so has our understanding of nuclear tech. With modern safety protocols, the risks can be minimized, and the reactor wouldn't even activate until the rocket is far from Earth. In a chemical rocket like SpaceX's Raptor engines, fuel burns to create a controlled explosion that pushes the rocket. It's powerful, but limited by how much energy chemical reactions release. Nuclear propulsion, on the other hand, uses heat from a nuclear reactor to superheat propellant like liquid hydrogen. This generates much more thrust. Scientists believe nuclear rockets could be twice as efficient as chemical ones, meaning they could get to Mars with less fuel. This is crucial because every extra kilogram of fuel takes up space that could be used for supplies, equipment, or people. A more efficient rocket frees up space for what really matters. Let's take a step back and consider what all this means for Mars. Musk's vision isn't just to send a few astronauts for a visit. He's aiming for a full-scale, self-sustaining colony. Once we reach Mars, it's not just about planting a flag or snapping photos. The real goal is to stay, build infrastructure, and make Mars a place where humans can live and thrive. Nuclear rockets make this dream more achievable. The faster we get to Mars, the easier it is to transport materials needed for habitats, power stations, and even greenhouses. Once we establish a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars, the potential is limitless. Nuclear propulsion could also open up the rest of the solar system. Imagine sending missions to the moons of Jupiter or Saturn, places that were once too far for human crews. With nuclear rockets, those destinations become a lot more reachable. SpaceX has already revolutionized space travel with reusable rockets, and now they're on the verge of transforming interplanetary travel as well. Right now, space exploration is limited by time and distance. Even Mars, our closest neighbor, is still a huge challenge. But what if travel time wasn't a barrier anymore? With nuclear-powered rockets cutting the journey to a few months, we're talking about regular, repeatable trips. That makes building a colony on Mars much more realistic. Not just a small research outpost, but a thriving society. To build a city on Mars, we'd need homes, power, food production, and medical facilities. All of that has to be shipped from Earth at first. And if each trip takes nine months, it's a logistical nightmare. But if we cut the trip to 90 days, it becomes much more feasible. Supplies and people can be sent more often, 
allowing the colony to grow faster. SpaceX is already working on ways to tackle the challenges of living on Mars, like using underground habitats or thick-walled buildings to shield against cosmic radiation. Mars gets sunlight just like Earth, and with nuclear power, we can generate enough energy to heat these habitats. Terraforming is a long-term goal that could take centuries, but once we have a presence on Mars, we aren't limited to Earth's environment. This technology could open the door to settling other places in the solar system, like Jupiter's or Saturn's moons, which are currently out of reach with conventional propulsion. Nuclear rockets are just the start. As we develop this tech, faster travel to distant planets will become possible, with the potential for even more advanced propulsion systems in the future. This could lead to trips to Mars in days and the outer planets in weeks. What SpaceX is doing is revolutionary pushing space travel from a distant dream to a near reality. Elon Musk's vision goes beyond just technical achievements. It's about inspiring humanity to reach for the stars and explore the unknown. The progress we're seeing now could pave the way for humans living on multiple planets, making space travel as common as air travel one day. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.